In today's video, I will be making luminol, which is an interesting molecule as it exhibits chemiluminescence. For the chemicals required in this synthesis, we will need 4.2 grams of Sri nitrophallic acid, which I have shown how to make in a previous video. 3 grams of hydrazine sulfate, which I have also shown how to make in a previous video. 25 milliliters of glycerin, which can be bought from pharmacies. 5 grams of sodium hydroxide, which can be bought as a drain cleaner in hardware stores. 25 grams of sodium dithionite. And finally, 4.2 grams of sodium acetate. Into a beaker, I added in 4.2 grams of Sri nitrophallic acid. I then added in 3 grams of hydrazine sulfate and 4.2 grams of sodium acetate. I dropped in a stir bar and added 20 milliliters of water. The mixture is heated until everything dissolves to form a solution. When everything dissolves, 25 milliliters of glycerin is added. I then heated the reaction mixture to boil off the water. I continued heating the reaction mixture to 200 degrees Celsius, but I made sure that it doesn't go above 220 degrees Celsius. The reaction occurring here is that the hydrazine sulfate reacts with the sodium acetate to form hydrazine acetate and sodium sulfate. At the elevated temperatures, the hydrazine acetate formed decomposes to free base hydrazine and acetic acid. The acetic acid is boiled off, but the hydrazine reacts with the Sri nitrophallic acid to make Sri nitrophallohydrazide. After heating the reaction mixture, I let it cool back down to room temperature. I then added 80 milliliters of water, which serves to wash our product as it is insoluble in water. The mixture is then vacuum filtered. The Sri nitrophallohydrazide is transferred to a beaker and I dissolved it in 50 milliliters of a 5% sodium hydroxide solution. Once everything is dissolved, I started adding 25 grams of sodium dithionite. This will cause the color of the solution to change from dark red to a yellow. The reaction happening here is that the sodium dithionite reduces the nitro group on the Sri nitrophallohydrazide to an amine which will form Sri aminophallohydrazide, also known as luminol. To ensure an acceptable yield, the reaction has to be pushed forward by refluxing it. I didn't reflux it long enough because the mixture started to foam a lot and it almost overflowed, which is why I took it off the heat. After the reflux, the reaction mixture has to be neutralized, but it was already at a neutral pH, so I didn't have to do this step. The crude luminol is then separated by vacuum filtration. To purify the luminol, I did a recrystallization by dissolving the crude in boiling ethanol. The purified luminol is again separated by vacuum filtration. I then measured the yield of the luminol I was able to produce. It came to be lower than 0.1 grams as my scale wasn't able to read it. The low yield probably came from me not refluxing the reaction long enough. To demonstrate the chemiluminescence of luminol, I firstly made a basic solution by dissolving 0.8 grams of sodium hydroxide in 200 milliliters of water. I then added all of the luminol I had made to the solution. To another beaker, I poured in 200 milliliters of water and added 2 milliliters of household bleach to it. We then have to mix both solutions together and we will be greeted by a blue glow from the luminol being excited. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any suggestions on what I should do for my next video, feel free to write a comment down below.